on a kombucha from Maine to New York City to help her brother Charlie in the brownstone they share. And Monica bakes in her grandma's kitchen. And the more she makes, the more she discovers there's magic everywhere. Monica's mixing bowl, mixing up a tasty treat. Monica's mixing bowl, food that's safe for all to eat. With Colby and Pepper and Cherry along, she'll make us a meal with a smile and a song. For your belly and food for your soul, Monica's mixing bowl. Back, I won't record. This thing never was working. <clears throat> Hi, bonjour, and greetings from Paris, France, the city of light. Pepper, I had a macaroon that would knock your socks off. It was so good. Hey, I'm trying to watch Dad's postcard. Do you know what makes a macaroon gluten-free here? The almond flour. Who knew? Right? <laughs> oh, uh, I gotta go. So, uh, au revoir, goodbye, and lots of love from your dad, Captain Charlie. According to my calculations, Dad's due back any minute. Hurry up, Colby. Never rush an artist at work. <sighs> Pepper, you did that on purpose. Did not. Did too. Foul. I cry foul. <gasps> leave it, leave it. What's taking so long? Excellent question. If we let the variable X represent Dad's postcard... Oh, my she's goodness. Coming. I just flew in from France. One, and boy, two, are my arms tired. Three. Surprise! <laughs> well, slap my back and call me Captain. Uh, <laughs> Captain Charlie, welcome home. <laughs> Thanks, sis. Now, come here, you kids. Give me a hug. Come on. Now, it's time for souvenirs. Uh, All right. I need the bag. Oh, we don't want presents. We just want you. Uh -huh. Yeah, want daddy. <laughs> but a present every now and then wouldn't hurt too much. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a relief. Yeah. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. All right. For you, Colby, I got you this very, very cool French beret. What do you think about that, Ooh, huh? Fancy. That's for you. And then for you, Pepper, how about the shirt? <gasps> what do you think about that? A Curie Institute shirt? Best dad ever! <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> and for you, Mon Cherry Amor. All right, you ready for your surprise? Mm -hmm. All right, cover your eyes. No peeking. I know you're gonna love this. Ready? Mm -hmm. Uncover your eyes. <laughs> These beautiful souvenir. Aww. Hey, you know, a souvenir is French for... For memory. Very good, Colby. Well, I knew that. Oh, me too. Well, guys, it's okay. It's not a competition. <laughs> but, Dad, look what I made you from scratch. It's going to be your favorite. I just know it. Like son, like father. Colby, I am so impressed. You made this just today. It's got some great ingredients. And there's something I'd like to say. Everything tastes better with love and chocolate. That's why I made this tree full of love and chocolate. You deserve a snack with lots of flair. So I made you this dessert with lots of care. And chocolate, and chocolate, and love. Well, I do love chocolate. Wait, what about the dessert I made? Pepper, yours looks really great. I bet it tastes divine. I love what you have put on top. So I think you should just eat mine. Well, that's not what I meant. I prepared you marshmallows because I know we both love marshmallows. So put my recipe to the test because I know you'll like my best with marshmallows.
Chocolate. Chocolate. Marshmallow. No. Charlie, Chocolate. hand me Grand's mixing no. bowl. Chocolate. As you wish. Do you remember that treat that she used to make us with the marshmallow and the chocolate and the graham oh, crumble? S'more surprise bars, they were always my favorite. <laughs> oh, I see where you're going. Hey, you two. Both of these treats were made with love. That much is true. And although they're very different, there is something we can do. You know I love you both the same through fair and stormy weather. If you put them both together. No! You're ruined! Don't yuck on my yum! Whoa, what's happening? I don't know. It's just Grant's kitchen being Grant's kitchen. Let's see. Hmm. Together. Together? Amazing kids ever, you know it's that? It's true, I love it.